Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build better titles or just how to build titles in general using the Essential Graphics panel. So this is something you'll see a lot of times, especially in music videos. If we click and grab our text tool, whenever we type out anything, such as the name of a video or a documentary, you'll notice it creates this new graphic layer. And if we head over to the Essential Graphics panel, there's a lot of tools in here that we can use to do different adjustments and spacing of the text. So first of all, we have all the align and transform sections, such as centering it in the middle, aligning it in different ways if you want on top or bottom, and also just adjusting the position left and right. You can also do any of these if you just click your selection tool. You can move things around and scale them in this visual way as well. So if I want, I can increase the size, center it once again, and get my initial text in balance. So already something like this is nice and simple. And there's also some other options. So aside from the size and the rotation and things such as that, we also have the opacity here. This will lower the opacity if you want to make it lower or higher. And you also have very important the font and the style. So whatever font you choose, this is important to the look of your video. I find oftentimes just something nice and simple can work really well. Just a solid color, nice and simple image. Um, you can animate it in maybe gently with just even a fade or just cut it in or out or maybe a strobe effect, which I have different tutorials on different text animation effects. You have some different fonts with entire font families. So you can do regular italic, bold, and, and different forms. And another thing that you can adjust as well is the spacing and the tracking and different aspects of the font. So sometimes you can add a little bit of stylistic touch, maybe just by spacing things out differently, or if you want to add more boldness. Another thing to think about as well is what you're typing in capital letters or not, such as making everything all caps or small caps. You can do that with these tools no matter what font you're in. So these can all be different options for you depending on the look you're going for. And another tip too, if you want to stretch things out non-proportionally, if you uncheck this scale lock little chain icon, you can, for example, increase things vertically or just horizontally shrink things in if that's the look you're going for. I wouldn't always recommend stretching things out out of proportion but sometimes it can be a cool stylistic trendy look. So this is a simple start often is just like a centered title text, but within every graphic object, you see we have this one layer. This is the first text layer that we made. I can always click right on my program window again with the type tool and create something else. So in the bottom, I could put the names of people that it's starring or musicians, or I could just add like a little information of people that worked on the video and then just start thinking about how you can arrange and balance things. So if I wanted, I can center this once again, but just maybe move it a little bit under the text. So something like this, or if I highlight that layer, perhaps move it to the right, keep it like a small little corner thing. And I can write out all of the essential information I think I need. So, so for each different layer, you can adjust all of the styles. So Maybe for some of these subtext, I don't use the bold condensed. I use like a medium italic and I just play around with different layer organizations and balances. Or maybe I could highlight the uh, a few letters or words of the font and change one of the colors. And you can also change the blending mode and, and properties of this entire graphic in the effects control panel. So if I did want to set this to something like color dodge or difference and it blended in with the original video clip somehow that could be a cool idea or if i later wanted to add different effects onto this graphic layer such as like an alpha glow or something i could do that as well and you'll see those effects just pop up here in the graphics panel i just want to make sure that i don't do something gaudy and just keep things subtle. But that whole step is entirely optional, just showing you some flexibility to it. But even continuing within the Essential Graphics panel, there's still even more things that you can do, such as adding a stroke onto your text, or if you wanted to just remove the fill entirely, you could just do stroked out text like this, like outline text, and change the color of that stroke 
to something. So this is another cool way that you can create like a stylistic title. Again, you see that I'm creating, this is a pretty cool looking title in my opinion. It blends nicely, it looks elegant. And we just simply created it by working with some layers in the Essential Graphics panel. If you had some logos to add, you could build out as much information as you want and just play around with different balanced ways to place them. If you want to check out how to do knockout text, I have a whole separate tutorial where I show you how to use this mask with text feature. If you want to check that out. But this is just a brief introduction and giving you some ideas on how you can build out title screens and work on your title text game in Adobe Premiere Pro. As a final tip as well, if you ever have your project media bin highlighted and you go to File, New, Photoshop File, you can also open a new Photoshop file right from Premiere in the sequence size that you're working with. And it will open up, you just save a PSD wherever you want, make sure add a project is checked. And it will open up Photoshop for you where you might have some more robust tools for shapes and different title and text tools if you wanted to get a little bit more advanced. And then once you closed Photoshop and press save, you'd see whatever project you created show up in your project media bin and if you want you can add photoshop documents on as well if you want to build titles in photoshop but i'll leave it at that if you enjoyed this video definitely check out some of my other text effect and animation tutorials subscribe to my channel here on youtube so you stay tuned for all my new videos thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video